Yeah. Turn the lights on. Shake your body Cause you told me yourself They be hating on you They be hating on you anyway So I say fuck these bitches Cause I got four wheels, some hundred dollar bills And somewhere we can chill with some strippers who don't know how to discriminate So you can meet me out in the lobby Just bring your purse and your pretty body Type of party. So you can meet me out in the lobby. Lobby, lobby, lobby Just bring your purse and your pretty body, 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 body. That you think I'm up to no good But it's so good, you gon' love it Now that's my type of party Turn the lights on Then you say these bitches be hating on you anyway? Why the fuck you always wanna be around them, man? I ain't with all that fake shit. I ain't go over here to take one and fuck with some real bitches. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gotta impress no bitch. I'm rich. You is too. So we ain't gotta fit in with no kiddies. It ain't shit they could give you. They already think I'm way too hood and I'm no good. Fuck em. Plus that Hervé Leger is fitting right and them titties sitting nice. Let me touch em. Young nigga from the mill town. Ballin' in a yeah, yo. You can call me what you want, just make sure you call all my shit paid for Let's leave, blame me, I could be the a-hole And if you see him in the club, put your middle finger up while you standing so on the table So you can meet me out in the lobby Just bring your purse and your pretty body Type of party. So you can meet me out in the lobby. lobby, lobby, lobby. Yeah. Just bring your purse and your pretty body. body, body Got the drive body. away. That you think I'm up to now. But it's so good. You gon' love it. And that's my type of party. Party, party, party. El Presidente. The unimpeachable. The unreachable. Rico Love. All this shit right here, I own all this shit right here. The label too, turn the lights on. What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon X, the Larvitar Solar Run. Well, for now it's the Larvitar Solar Run. So I did the little training montage in the beginning, I got the idea from Hoodlum's Crafty. Um, he does this, he, he just plays a music, not music, he plays music while... Uh, shortening the amount of training and off-screen stuff he well, what would be off-screen and I, I kind of like that idea because all the training I did in that montage would pretty much cover like three quarters of an episode and I wanted to make this a pretty fast-paced um, let's play so or solar run so pretty much I trained um, before I teach this TM which I went back and got right before I <laughs> started recording this um, Larvitar is now level 24 and he tried learning Scary Face. I did not want him to learn Scary Face. But we ended up... Wow, he's mischievous. That means he has max special attack as well. Oh yeah, that's because he's uh, he has perfect IVs. But um, we had like $17,000. So I went back and bought uh, Bulldoze. Now this is extremely necessary because we need to be able to beat the last gym. I mean the next gym. And my goal was to just be level... I think 25 and I'm already level 24 and I did not rebattle the rival so my plan was to have a normal move a ground move and dragon dance and a dark move so the rock slides not needed but for now the pursuit is not needed either and when he learns crunch or bite even then I'll get rid of something else but for now what I wanted to do was have a ground move a normal move and a dark move I did not want to have the rock move even though even though it's stab because there's a lot of Pokemon that can wall Oh god, that can wall just uh, this, this, and this. If you know what this, this, and this means. But 
Uh, we're getting rid of uh, Pursuit and we're gonna give him Bulldoze, so... Oh my god, I don't know if you guys actually watched the training montage, but I came into contact with two, a double battle. Should I put Rotom in the daycare or not? I came into... Uh, well, I can't even talk. I went into a double battle with two Furfrus, and they just kept headbutting and then lowering defense. Oh my god, because headbutt has a chance to flinch you, and they just continuously did that. It was extremely annoying. Uh, can I battle you now? Ah, she asked me to battle all this time over here, but I guess not. So, um, we can go to the, uh, battle chateau here and see if we can get our larva turn level 25. I don't, I think I battled you, yeah. But let's see, and <laughs> let's see, and let's go into this cutscene first. If you all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should we pair up? Your Majesty and me. Even when you're not, like, talking in second person, <laughs> they still refer to me as Your Majesty. Well, that's because I set my nickname to that. Wow, Corfish. Dude, Corfish is extremely good in this generation. Uh, I mean, Knockoff was improved, so you should definitely run Knockoff on Corfish. I mean, your items are very important when it comes to Wi-Fi battling and everything, so... When you knock off, ooh, ooh, is that a fletchling? I can bulldoze, destroy both of those. Ah, oh, I thought he was gonna quick attack Larvitar. Oh, ew, you're disgusting. What the heck? Pegging a corfish that would do nothing. Just look at that. And now corfish, who's I guess just naturally slow, but corfish, I I'm not sure if he did or not, but he got a buff, I think. And he is much better. Give him Waterfall, Aqua Jet, Knock Off, and any other move. I don't know what to think. Maybe Sword Stance or something. And he's really good at... I just... I mean, I think he just can't take a hit, though. Similar to how Baby can't take a physical hit. But, yeah. He got a really good buff. And now we can just Rock Slide in case uh, none of these guys live. Yeah, Fletchling is dead. I love how everyone aimed for Fletchling. Like, I think my Larvitar is at full HP. No one can touch it. Oh my god. See, Frogadier, you would never expect him to evolve into Greninja. He loses all those bubbles or the white stuff on his head or around his neck. And <laughs> it turns into a uh, tongue. It's funny. Wow, critical hit. Reminds me of that Wi Fi battle I did where I used Rock Slide and it. Well, it was a double battle. I used Rock Slide and I crit both of the opponents. And it flinched them. Well, one person had Prankster, so they went first. But, I don't know, that's just crazy. Just the hacks that can go on. I mean, but if Pokemon was straightforward, like, there was no min and max value. Oh, well, I guess we should head off to Amber Town then. Yep, I'm gonna go to the Battle Mazen. I mean, the Battle Chateau first. Like, if there was no max and min damage, no hacks, no um, possibility of confusion, hitting yourself, blah, blah, blah. Then Pokemon wouldn't be as fun as, as it is now. Because even though it involves skill and, I guess, luck in a way... That's what makes it fun, or else every battle would turn out the same way. Like, you can have a you can have a whole team of fear Pokemon, which is just Endivore, Quick Attack, those kinds of things, with uh, the Focus Sash. But there's like 20 different ways a battle like that could turn out, and that's only because of all the hacks and the different possibilities, because of all the different percentages of what am I even talking about? Percentages of just like being able to miss an attack, being able to. Um, lose the speed tie, being uh, getting the full pair hacks, hitting yourself confusion, getting frozen for like 10 turns, not waking up till the third turn. There's just so many ways that I can just uh, turn around. So, I mean, that's what makes Pokemon fun. So, I'm not sure if there's going to be trainers in here, but I'm going to battle everyone. We're almost leveled. I think we just leveled up to level 25, and I need to change. No, we're still level 24. Quirtyup has been getting some levels as well. <laughs> Helps out in double battles, not really, but... I mean, I can use Quirtyup when it comes to a double battle, but he's not going to be the one who gets priority when it comes to getting experience. I'm not going to make him do any of the work. I just make him use Leer or heal my Larvitar, as I did in the training montage. And Water, Grass, Fighting, Steel, you guys scare me. So I'm just going to go for the... St actually, well, Rock Slide does 80, I think, but I don't want to miss. Yeah. I don't know. And, and the fact that you could, I mean, stab and everything in Pokemon is just amazing as well. Choice band, giving, being able to hold items. I mean, Pokemon is just awesome just because there's so many, so much strategy behind it. I need to close my blinds, but, um, what was I saying? 
I forget what I was saying, but someone said there's no fighting type gym leader in the last episode. Someone's like, no, you, you're safe. You're lucky that there's no fighting gym leader. I'm pretty sure the gym after this one is Karina, which is the girl who gives you Mega Lucario. So that's going to be a problem. I kind of wish that she Mega Evolved in the gym, like during the gym battle, like she had Lucario, but they didn't want to include Lucario and then have it again. So that works out. But look at my EVs in the bottom on the bottom screen. Yeah, special attack. It's bugging me so much just looking at it, seeing like 20 EVs wasted in special attack. But uh, this should be the last of the battles. There's another door at the lobby, I guess, the front part. But we'll look at that in a second. Burmy, is that is this part bug? I'm not sure. What is Burmy? Oh yeah, and I'm also trying something else with these recordings. Um. Recently, I've been- wow, I hate you so much. That is so unnecessary. Like, unless you're like a Glisker and you want your Toxic Orb, or a Zangoose and you want your Toxic Boost, or you want to recover HP, you should not be doing that. You you, sh you really shouldn't. That just stalls battles. But, uh, I'm trying something new with X-Split. I'm gonna try- let's- oh, well, imagine my mic was muted all this time. <laughs> uh, I'm trying that- well, what I would usually do is I would record the game audio and the- video in XSplit, but also have Sony Vegas recording my commentary audio just because XSplit was, uh, I couldn't figure out how to do it, but now I figured out how to have everything go on at the same time. So this episode will be more in sync because the last one I had to sync up myself, put the two audios together and it was kind of annoying. It's I spent a good five minutes. Wow. More trainers. Lion, but, uh, this should be more synced and I'm also fearing it as well because if this messes up, I can't change the audio. I can't make the game audio louder, shorter. I did run a few test recordings to see whether the game audio is too loud and everything. And the slider is about 75% way. I mean, not wow, well, 75% the way up. I mean the um, what am I saying? The the volume sliders just so the game volume isn't too loud. Wow, the stab bulldoze is amazing. I love using a move that stab and. <laughs> Does not have the possibility to miss. So we're level 25. Look at that HP, attack, and special defense gain. And speed for that matter. Yeah. We're definitely going to rank up from here. But yeah, we're, we got a lot of money. So we can buy a lot more TMs when it comes to later on in the game. And we're also getting good levels. My goal was 25 levels by the first by the second gym. And I made a mistake in uh, another episode. I said that I was... A pupitar when before I fought the second gym. That's a lie. I was a pupitar when I was about to fight Corina. In my when like when I was first trying to do the solar run, I kind of messed up because I was gonna. I, I just restarted the solar run before I started uploading because someone decided to give me a shiny larvitar and literally I was willing to just scrap everything I had. I mean, if it was already uploaded, I would not scrap it because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna scrap something that's already uploaded, even if it was just one one part, the first part. Call me cute. Oh my god. You're pretty tough, you're a little cute thing. Evren, are you new around here? We're all new around here. We're all barons. That's the, that's the lowest rank. Bidu. You know, I when I played uh, Pearl, I think I played Pearl. Yeah, I played Pearl in the Sinnoh or the fourth generation, but... I did not think this thing evolved. I thought it was just one of those weird Pokemon that just stay like that forever. I mean, um, just like a weird Pokemon that doesn't have any evolutions. Then I realized that evolves into Roselia. Wait, does it? Am I just making? Am I just thinking stuff? I think it evolves into Roselia, and then it and then Roselia evolves into Rosary. But for like a whole year when I was playing Pearl, I did not catch it or do anything because I didn't even know. Yeah, I'm about to. Go to like the Viscount rank when I leave. But I did not know and wow. And you know, Serebi, look it up. <laughs> and I figured it out. So we're finally done with the battle chateau. There's a, there's a few things to talk about. That's why I took the time in the battle chateau and just I have this problem where when I'm talking I'll just sit like this and literally I'll just be like this, just talking. Like I will just look at the screen and just wait. Staring at Serena. Nobody's watching. All right. Uh, fill the camera, man. We have to go through the Zubat Cave. That's going to be fun. But we could also go down this way and see what's over here. The next town is, in fact, the Gym Leader Town. So, yeah. 
let's see. Uh, we should probably go through this way first, just because I feel like it. And we could get a... I don't know what berry that is. Looks... <laughs> There's so many berries and they have no relation to their name. Well, at least I find. Wait, are you? Are you? Oh, not bad. You're gonna heal my Pokemon. That's gonna be really useful. The Pokemon Center is a bit far away. If I, I mean, other than the Pokemon Center in Amber Town, did I really have to find a Zubat at the last step? My dog just got up and sat like right at my feet. <laughs> but yeah, the Zubat Cave. Imagine how many shiny Zubats were found here. You know, there's a rumor that was going around when Pokemon X and Y was just announced that they would change the wild Pokemon encountering system. It was a really... Whoa. Oh, it's those girls again, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'll have to read this first. Ah, ha, we didn't mean to su surprise you. How are you and Larvitar doing? Haven't you wondered how a single Pokedex could possibly cover a region as big as Kalos? Well, it can't. That's why we are here to power up your Pokedex. The Kalos Pokedex was added to Thalmos Pokedex. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I can catch, um, what's its name? Inkay. Yeah, I'm enjoying the solo run so far. And a lot of you seem to be as well. Ah, uh, look at Amber Town. Right there. Ah, uh, did I really mess up? I don't really, I really don't care. Let's go down this way. Ooh, uh, you really look like a Sky Trainer, if I'm not mistaken. You are Rising Star, Paulette. Ooh, dragons. See, dragons have become way more common ever since the introduction of fairy types. Like, dragons were supposed to be that mythical type, but then I guess after the first, like, four, five generations, because they probably came up with the idea that dragons are overpowered in, like, Generation 5, because they've been working on X and Y for a good few years, so. I mean, I could assume that, but. Dragons, wow, I can't talk. Dragons were supposed to be that mythical Pokemon type that not all, like, it was just sacred. And that's why every generation sort of just had one dragon in Generation 1. It was Dragonite. Like, it, the reason why Charizard was not Dragon was because it was overpowered and there wasn't many counters to it. And they just wanted to be that sacred type. In Generation 2, they introduced, I think, Kingdra. Yeah, the Kingdra. In Generation 3, they introduced a few more. They introduced Flygon. Um, Guard Chomp, and then they made Legendaries part Dragon, and that kept the mythical thing going on. Right in Generation Three, yeah, and then in Generation Four they expanded, continuing to make Dragons still mythical. Generation Five they started turning against it, and then in Generation Six they made Dragons common like every other type, and they did that because they wanted to make every type equal. But I think I said this in another part, but if they did not want to introduce a new type, they just wanted to neutralize dragons with every single other type like make them equal not overpower and everything what they could have hey a sky trainer i mean at this the left side <laughs> dude imagine imagine that uh strength boulder just falls on her <laughs> hold the gore um if they wanted to make dragons equal with every single other type and they did not want to introduce fairy types but i think the introduction of fairy types was necessary in a way but i kind of think that they should have done this instead they should have just made dragons either weak no they should have made dragons weak to electric that's all they have to do if you think about it just just sit just think about it just for like a second <laughs> oh my god my throat is dry but yeah that's really all they have to do oh jeez, thank god i'm out of tyranitar oh shoot you hit five times oh good <laughs> uh usually when you see Arm Thrust, because it's only base 15 power, you would only use it if you're either using an in-game team or if you have Skill Link. And even if you have Skill Link, your Pokemon can probably learn moves like Close Combat and stuff. But yeah. You know what I need to do? I need to go into my settings and make it so I can't switch out, because sometimes it's tempting. Sometimes it really is tempting, but I'm not allowed to do that. And sometimes I might do it by accident, just because commentate. Oh, sh- No! Oh, I have I'm specially defensive, though. That is not going to help. <laughs> In my head, I was thinking, please no Aqua Jet, but... <laughs> See King Goldie and can't learn that. Dude, these voice cracks are annoying. <laughs> uh, just just like a few months. <laughs> uh, you know, I only realized recently that grass are... Grass resists ground. Like, there's so... Oh, shoot! 
Look at this, it looks so funny. I mean, I know he's trying to gain momentum so he can go, but look, look how funny it is when you move slowly. Oh, I can't do it anymore. But uh, we're pretty much back, so... I made sure that I just went into the Pokemon Center. Oh, I think I have to heal as well. Yeah, I think I healed. Um, so next time I die, which hopefully I won't, uh, I'll end up there. And this is why I don't do Nuzlocks, because I'm so careless, and literally I'm not good I, at Nuzlocks. My Pokemon will all die. And, I mean, if you want a three-episode Nuzlocke of, like, Pokemon Sacred Gold or something, then sure, I'll do it. But on the third episode, my still unevolved, like, Torchic, or not Torchic, but like Quilava will die or something, so. <laughs> That's why I don't do Nuzlocke, but I'm gonna get into the, like, I really want to try doing, like, ROM hacks and stuff, but I don't know how I feel about that yet. I need to see. Oh my goodness, you wild Pokemon have to stop getting off of me. And I lost my train of thought after I lost that Pokemon. I, I was trying to keep it so I can continue talking about it when I got back, but. Guess not. Guess not. But, yeah, Mianfu. Mianfu? Mianfu. My dog is walking around. <laughs> How unprofessional. Oh, no, I don't want to talk to you. Alright, I just got him to sit down. <laughs> oh, man. A fighting guy. You know what? I'm level 25. Uh, I'll just add these guys to, like, a training montage or something, because I'm really wasting a bit of time here. Not wasting, but, I mean, I've got a lot of stuff done. But, you know... I can't do this whole episode with battles. So, yeah, we've got a level 25 Larvitar, though. And he's got, um... What is that move called? He's got... Uh, come on, yes. He's got Bulldoze. It's gonna destroy the gym. Oh, no, I want to get that item down there. I know there's an item. Get in the... Oh, God. What the heck is wrong with this? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Here's something funny. Here's something funny. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, it's not that funny. It, 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 never mind. You don't know how confused I got at this part. I'm like, yo, what the heck am I supposed to do? And I'm like, oh, just come all the way up here and, whoa. Yo, there's something wrong with me. Alright, we're all the way over here. I think we can still get to... Am Welcome to Ambret Town. We are not yet at the gym, so maybe we'll get to the gym and then we will end the episode. But So, you want me to go to the lab? Okay, I'm going to make sure that if I die, I come back here. So, I'm going to heal up and be right back. You know, maybe it's a good idea to stock up on potions because I should really buy a few super potions. I'm going to buy... About five potions. This is just for side healing after a battle because I don't. Damn, super potions are actually. Actually, do the same ratio 20 for 300, which would be 40 for 600, 50 for 700. You don't even know what's going on in my head, but I'm gonna buy well enough to get a clean 20. And that is good because I need to save my money for future TMs, which obviously I'm gonna make money back before I get to a place with future TMs, but. Yep. Yeah. To make sure that got everything okay so we have to go to the fossil lab and oh you are you the one who oh that's what you give me i did not get rock smash when i originally played the game like i only got it like a week ago and I, I beat the game when it like first came out within like a day so that is a long time all people are wondering what does this guy do when you show him a genesect and i did show him a genesect in my main save I'm not going to tell you what he does, though. I'm going to be that troll. I'm going to be that guy. <laughs> this man looks like the biggest nerd ever. Welcome, Fuker. Fuker. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not reading anymore. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I said yes. No. All right. I know I'm not reading the dialogue, but... <laughs> do you really want to read the dialogue? Okay, I want you to go to the Glittering Cave. Oh, blah, 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 blah. We're going to ride the Hab Rhyhorn. Um, how long have I been recording for? Let's actually go down here. We can get the old rod, get someone who can surf later on. Oh, uh, that's later on, but let's go get the old rod. Thank you, thank you. All the magic up in the world, even that golden over there. 
But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. In the next episode, we're going to go to the Glittering Cave. I think we have to ride on the Rhyhorn to get there. If our town map, which is not registered, will tell us. I need to register this thing. Register. You can register your roller skates. Okay, no, you can't. But, yes, yeah, so we have to ride the Rhyhorn all the way to here. I think Team Flare is there, but we'll figure all that out. Wow. I just combined words. I cannot talk ever. Just not even today, but ever. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode.